Hi everybody, my name is Nicholas and welcome in this first Motion Machine tutorial. So this tutorial will be about the installation of Motion Machine and the compilation of the first empty example. You can download Motion Machine from GitHub, so here is the link, github.com slash numediart slash motion machine. And from the web page, either you can directly click on download and you're gonna download the archive of the current version of Motion Machine, or if you want to be in touch more incrementally about what we do with Motion Machine, you can synchronize through your own Git client like Sourcetree or GitHub for Mac or Windows. You can synchronize the repository and check out uh, the current version. So in case we change Motion Machine, you can always update to the latest version. So for the sake of this exercise here, I'm going to download it right from the web page. And before we dig into the source code itself, I want to show you a little bit the structure of Motion Machine so we understand what we do. So Motion Machine is a C++ uh, source code that sits on the top of two well-known C++ library. The first one is called Armadillo and it's a matrix operation library. And the second one is called Open Frameworks and like in many Open Frameworks examples, it comes with uh, extensions that they call add-ons. So Open Frameworks and Open Framework add-ons are used for visualization in this case. On the top of this you have Motion Machine and the whole code base of Motion Machine can be somehow split uh, in three big sections. So the first one is called Core, so it's all the things that have to do with data types, very basic types. Uh, the second one is called Features and it's going to contain all the motion uh, feature extraction algorithms like balance, like uh, Laban features, things like that, you know, higher level description of motion and then the third one is scenes and scenes is all which is related to visualizing and interacting with motion capture data and from this code base then you're going to derive a whole bunch of examples so examples are prepared like pre-configured uh, projects either Xcode or Visual Studio projects that's going to use all this uh, source code to compile uh, your own examples, your own ideas. And so if you go into the source code you just downloaded, you're gonna see these two folders. And so there is apps and libs. Apps is pretty much your examples. So you're gonna find motion machine examples. So this is where we put things. We show you how to use motion machine. So you see that at this stage, it's only the empty example. And Sandbox is where you're going to put your own examples to actually experiment with Motion Machine. So that's a bit the philosophy here. And the libs is where all the different libraries actually sit together and, and make it work. Armadillo, Open Frameworks, and Motion Machine itself. The thing with Open Frameworks is that it's a very big and very active project. So we didn't include it and like froze it into Motion Machine. So you have to put it yourself. So you see if you go there in the OF folder, there is just add-ons. So add-ons means that we provide our own extensions, that this is actually existing extensions for open frameworks, but we sort of tweak them a little bit, so customize them a little bit. So it has to stay there, but you need to add to this folder, like the open frameworks library itself. So how do you do that? You go online on openframeworks.cc slash download, and you find here your own like the, the Open Frameworks distribution for your system. So you have Linux, Windows, OS X, everything. And here I'm going to use OS X. So it's already downloaded because it's pretty big. So if I go here, you see I have OF underscore V092, etc. So Motion Machine at the moment is configured to work well with uh, Open Frameworks 0.9. So please use uh, 0.9 um, Open Frameworks versions. And inside the Open Frameworks folder, you're going to find a lot of things. And what we are interested in is just two of these folders, the one called libs and the one called export. So you're going to select these two, copy them, and I'm going to go back into my OF folder. And next to the add-ons, which is already there, I'm going to paste these two. So now in libs slash OF, I have three folders, add-ons that was already there, 
libs and export right coming from OS 0.9 distribution. And I'm pretty good to go. So this is now complete and I can go back on the apps example and I'm going to use my empty example here. So you see an empty example, basically an example uh, for machine machine will always come in different flavors. So Xcode, Visual Studio and the make file for Linux people. So here I'm on the Mac, so I'm going to use the Xcode project. And it should look like this. So if you look at your example, even if you're on Windows, what I'm going to say is still apply. So you should find in your Explorer somewhere, so here on the Mac you have to dig a little bit, you should find the three projects, the three uh, compilation projects that should look healthy. You see, this one of course, that's the one you opened. But here I can access Motion Machine and I can access Open Frameworks without anything telling me that it's missing files. So if, if you're on the Mac and you have like red things showing up, it means that it's not properly installed. So the typical mistake is that you forgot actually about copy-pasting Open Frameworks and all this is going to show red. So please make sure it's all in place and you should see these three. So your own MT example project, the Motion Machine project and the Open Frameworks lib project should all show up pretty nicely. So once you get that, you can just forget about these. And what we're going to just now do is click on the compile. The compilation phase from your uh, environment is going to compile everything all together. So after all these files compiled, you should see an application showing up. And here I mentioned a very typical mistake for Mac users is that among these targets, this is one of the libs which is selected and not an application. So if, if you have one lib selected here and you click the compile button, you're not going to see anything showing up because the lib doesn't show anything up. So please pay attention that either the debug or the release of the apps are actually selected before you hit the compile button. So we're going to give a quick check of this application here just to make sure it works. So please double click the menu here, click on focus on 3D scene and drag within the middle of the screen and you should see the 3D scene moving around. So if you have this, you're good to go. This is the end of the first tutorial and we can move to the second one. Thanks for watching.